Richard Southern in the 680 Newsroom. New numbers just out throw cold water on the idea that the hot Toronto housing market the past few years has been the result of a lack of housing, a tight supply. Not the case, according to new census data. It shows supply is not the problem any thought it was. Between 2011 and 2016, the number of households in Toronto rose to 2.1 million, the, an addition of just over 146,000. And the numbers show that the supply of new houses exceeded household demand by some 30,000 over those five years. So according to the census numbers, there was enough inventory out there, although there was a lack of supply in the very in-demand single detached home segment. Nevertheless, it's a sign that perhaps it was more speculation than anything else driving the market. Of course, we've seen some of the home sale numbers turn around in recent months. We'll be watching that closely going forward. Well, one business is benefiting from this North Korea crisis that we have going on. It's the bomb shelter business. Yeah, times have never been better for these guys. Uh, many companies in the space say they're scrambling to keep up with demand. One of the biggest companies is Atlas Survival Shelters. We're looking here at some of their shelters they offer. The company builds, uh, puts these aluminum uh, shelters about 20 feet underground. Uh, they start at $50,000. So you can spend 100000 or more, up to a million on these. But uh, even the most basic ones now feature things you'd find in your regular home. There's living spaces, uh, uh, there's a full kitchen, master bedroom, even a flat screen television. Atlas says they've received orders for 30 of these just within the last week. And they do build them in Canada as well. Well, going Bitcoin bonkers, the cryptocurrency has gone straight up and it's hitting another old time high today. It takes 5,300 Canadian dollars to buy one Bitcoin. It's crossing the 4,000 U.S. mark for the first time. The Bitcoin ecosystem getting stronger. There's more places to buy and sell it and traders are looking to it as a safe haven asset as well. Well, few of us love Mondays, but do you really dread going to work? A new survey out this morning finds about one in five people truly do. Take a look at this. 20% say they face a hostile or threatening environment at work. 55% say they face unpleasant and potentially hazardous conditions. While 75% spend at least a fourth of their day in intense or repetitive physical labor, only 38% say their job offers a good prospect for advancement. So it shows a lot of people are facing grueling, stressful, and hostile situations at work. Right, finally, McDonald's this week is celebrating its 50th anniversary in Canada. And to do so, it's rolling back some of its prices to make it look like it's 1967 all over again. McDonald's will be selling its classic hamburger for just 67 cents. This will be on Wednesday from between 11 a.m. to 7 p.m., limited to three orders per customer. First ever McDonald's opened up in Richmond, British Columbia back in 1967. There's now over a thousand locations here in Canada alone. In the 680 Newsroom, Richard Southern, City News.